you're gonna grab a single piece of tissue paper and then fold your section in half lengthwise. Repeat this by folding it again in half. Once you have your tissue paper folded in half, both directions, you're gonna take a pair of scissors and trim both folded sides down the seam. All right, now you should have four separate sheets of tissue paper. Begin folding your tissue paper about an inch at a time in rows, backwards and forwards. So one direction, flip the paper over and fold it up the other direction and so on and so forth to create a fan-like shape. Take this fan-like shape and find the center, fold it in half. Trim the tip end of your piece into either a point or a rounded corner shape. Taking a piece of twine, secure it in the center by tying a knot. Take each section of the bow and separate it by pulling it towards the center. Repeat this until all sections of your bow are separated. This will create a fluffy bow you'll love. Now you can use the twine that you used in the center to secure your bow to any gift bag or package of your choice. These are awesome to create just an added pop to any gift for any occasion. The possibilities are endless with this project. You can use patterned tissue paper as well. And I absolutely love this checkered look. So you'll begin just like you did with the other by folding your sheet of tissue paper in half lengthwise. Repeat the process by folding it over again. And you're gonna take your scissors again and trim up that folded seam on the side of your tissue, as well as the other two folded sides on the end of your tissue. This is going to give you all of your separate sections of tissue paper to work with. Begin folding your tissue into the shape of a fan by flipping it from one side to the other and folding it up about an inch. Fold your fan in half and trim it with your scissors in the shape that you desire, either the point or the rounded tips. Secure with a matching piece of twine in the center by tying a knot. You can always secure your bow to the package before you separate the pieces of tissue. 
Either way should work out just fine. You can make these bows in any size you like. As you see here, I have one small, medium, and large. <laughs>